All right, we're going to round three. Canyon's on the play at, with seven cards. I'm looking to six. Play this on black. Oh, yep. really pass. All right, we're going to play a shivered Martian. I will pass. So we have an extra set because Crimson Bowser and Sinistra have two sets. Give us on white. Yep. Combat. Yep. Attack for one. 19. And I will pass turn. <laughs> Let's play Shattered Sanctum, and I will pass. Okay, on your end step, yep. black, white for Deadly Dispute. Sure. Get a treasure. And two cards. Right, my turn. Yep. Draw. I like a right that it has got a shark card. I'll use treasure. Sure. The treasure. And the rest Keep. for Delan, Wild Mage. When she attacks, you can roll a d20. D20, yep. If you attack and attack until there's a copy of that creature, except it's not legendary, and it's exiles creature at the end of combat. And you create one of those tokens, or roll again. Okay. Let's turn. Oh, excuse me. End of your turn. Otherworldly case. Like the top three, if I can bend any number of them. Um, let's bend these two, put this on top. Plans. Play restoration of Vicarage. Okay. Final points. Can I read that real quick? Yep. I should know what I can read. And then I will pass. Cut. I'll go to combat. Uh, yep. I'll attack. You have a, Make a copy here. You have a random d20? Yes. Four, so I get one copy of Ishan. He is tapped and attacking. Triggers an additional time. And in just time. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, so. 16. Sixteen. So you get a just a second copy that doesn't sack. And then you roll again. Eighteen. Eighteen. You roll again. Four. So you have four copies. Two of them will sacrifice. So four. So it's twelve. Fifteen? Correct. Nice. Okay. I'll go to four. <laughs> And they're tapped. And they are tapped. Yep, yep. So they're tapped. They're, they're tapped and tapped. Yep. Pass turn. Uh, this will go to two. <laughs> um, discard restoration of like Ganjo. Get back Shipwreck Marsh. Play this land for the turn. Play a Celestis. And go to the game two. Okay. So 
So yeah, you, you'll target the creature, roll, and then you make a copy based on one through fourteen, or right. fifteen through twenty. Right. So yep. So you make the you'll make a copy after you roll. So then that way you know if it has that ability or not. Two really good rolls is really good. <laughs> the trigger for him is when it's attacking. Whenever. So because that copy came in already attacking, does it not get the trigger? Uh, no. Let me see. This is whenever a creature you control attacks, correct? Right. Well, whenever Delina attacks, choose target creature. Yep. So copy that. If a creature attacking causes the target ability of a permanent you control to trigger. Uh, yeah, because I believe it's the act of attacking. Not that I attacked, but that I attacked. So it's attacking. the act of this attacking. Okay. Yep. Okay. So, yeah. So her, her attacking causes the ability to trigger. I could be wrong. And, and we could, like, we could ask Matt. Matt, do you want to head a judge call? Let me get Greg. Uh, you want to get those two cards? So the ones that come in are already attacking. They don't. Three, nothing sees an attack. Correct. That's what I was yeah. just trying to clarify. Okay. There's no Correct. additional triggers past oh, for each one. one. It's not gonna. It's not yeah, gonna. It's not gonna multiply. Right. It's not gonna loop a billion times. Yeah. Okay. So we did that wrong. What's that? No. They should have it, only done it twice. You hit. You hit roll again. Because I rolled again. That's right. Yeah. You hit roll again. Is why. Okay. So. So yeah. So it doesn't. The ability just triggers again, but you hit the roll again portion of it. Yep. Okay. Learning more. This so is good. So we're correcting how that played out. All right. Thank you for all your help. Sorry. Clarifying and making sure. Feel bad for making Matt interrupt his game. So if you want the explanation, you actually have to watch. Uh, <laughs> stay tuned and watch round three of Matt's play. All right, I will be on the play and try not to die on like turn f three or four or whatever it was. I actually got greedy there and I had the answer for Delina and decided to just play out cards. I should have just answered Delina. You didn't know what's coming. Nope. <laughs> had absolutely no idea there. That was a lucky, lucky setup there. I mean, did what they were supposed to do. And that's what matters. Alright, I'm gonna try this and this seems horrible. I will too. Alright. She break Marsh, go ahead. I I'm gonna play this on black. Shambling Ghast. Sure. Cast turn. Deserted Beach. Pass. Uh, he gets legendary. Oh, that. And it says if you don't control a fraud. Gotcha. I'll go to combat. Yeah. Attack the one. 19. I will deadly dispute. Yep. Two treasure tokens. Oh, because that makes sense. Yeah. One from that. One of, yeah, one of these you only made one last turn, so you, you should have had one, one more treasure, yeah. <laughs> Draw two cards. Yep. He's gone. Uh, your turn. Your turn. Six. 
Six, and that seven four. cards. Yes. And I will pass turn. I'm going to play a Spirited Companion to draw. Play Hall Storm Giants. I'll pass. Treasures and all this for Goldspan Dragon. Uh, yep. Dargan. I will yep. attack. Yep. Out of 15. Get one treasure token. And I'll pass turn. Alright. Shattered Sect. Um. Moderate inch. Yep. We'll loot. Discard Spirit Sister's Game. Combat. Yep. Cat for one. 19. Pass. Start by sacrificing this for two white. Okay. One of them I'm going to use portable hole on the modern age. Aw, okay. And then I'm going to tap the red and the black for Ishin. For Ishin, uh, I will respond to you casting Ishin. Okay. Vanishing versus targeting Gold Spender again. So you'll get a. I get a treasure token. Yep. I will. Use the treasure token yep. for two black. Deadly dispute. Sure. Him giving me another treasure token. Uh, no, it doesn't target him. So. Oh, I have to sacrifice. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I have to sacrifice. Yeah. So it doesn't. Yeah. Not, so you no. don't. You don't get another treasure nope. for it. No. Nope. But, but I do you get a treasure from. You that. do get a treasure from that. Sorry. Yeah. You get one from that. Yeah. You just don't get two. No. Nope. I had that wrong. Draw two. Two. And I pass turn. Okay. This one can go anywhere. Show it up can go anywhere. Show it up can go anywhere. Show it up can go anywhere. I feel really bad because, like, <laughs> I gotta get this thing and I don't want to. <laughs> it's not like I could do much with it, but um, I will pass. What'd you get? Uh, reduced to memory. Exile target non land permanent as controller creates a 3 2 red white spirit. Okay. And that's a sorcery speed? It's sorcery speed, yes. Okay. <clears throat> also costs three, two white, and a generic. Deadly dispute, the treasure. Yep. Give me one treasure. Yep. Two cards. Pretty good replacement. It is. Table of Mirror Breaker. Uh, 
create a Gaba Shaman whenever the creature attacks, create a treasure. Oh, you may discard up to two cards if you do draw many cards. Things of the saga that return to the treasure. Okay. And I'm assuming it's Kiki Jiggy in the back. Or Correct. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Pay one and tap it, and I can make a copy of another non legendary creature. Okay. Then I pass turn. Um, <clears throat> end of your turn. Other rogue gaze. In the top three. Been some the number of them. Been the modern age and the coming. Leave that on top. Draw for two. Play Desert Age. Play Spirit Sisters Call. Um, you know what Spirit Sisters Call does? Uh, at the end of turn, you can get rid of an enchantment I, to get a new one back. I can sack. I can target a card, sack a card, <coughs> if it shares a, a card type with the card. So you do enchantments, you do creatures, right. you know, sort of stuff. And that's on end step? It's my end step, yep. <coughs> So I will move to my end step, sacrifice Spirited Companion yep. to get back coming War. Okay. There's Battlefield, Exile, Ishin. And pass. <laughs> and then this has, sorry, this has a Spirit Sisters call cover on it. Um, it's, yeah, this, this would be attacking, this would be attacking. Yeah. I am going to decline the number two on this. Down okay. to discard, yeah, you're fine. But you've already declared attack. So somebody likes his hand. Right, so this comes in in your declare attackers. Oh, yeah, so this reanimates this. So I'm going to use this. Land on turn. Yep. Okay. I get a room and I play a yeah, it's just a tiny. Did you already have it? One, two, three, four, five, six. Two red and four more. Yep. For Inferno with the Star Mounts. Yep. Flying hands. Big boy. I will go to combat. Yep. And tap them both. Sure. Give me a treasure token. Give me two treasure tokens. Or, no, just sorry, because the Ishin's gone. gone. Yeah. So I have two treasure tokens I did, now. I did that right. <laughs> um, let's block here. Okay. And then take six. Correct. Uh, go to nine. Can I pass turn? <sighs> Shouldn't have blocked. That was dumb. Draw. This will go to two. <coughs> um, now bounce that back to your hand. It's okay. Play a Shattered Sanctum. And yeah, definitely shouldn't have. Definitely should not have. Yeah, the only thing that doesn't keep taking that out is if it needs basics. Just put your all burn. This is just not really a bad one. Gives you a 3-3. Or a 3-2. No. I'll pass. Six. Yep. You don't have any flyers. Okay, I'll go to combat. Mm -hmm. I will attack six in the air. Finish your verse. Exile target creature. Okay. Tell me if I did this wrong. Exile, excuse me, exile target monocolored permanent. Right. This isn't going to work, is it? If I get protection from a color, would it still die because that's white and black? No. Either either color will give it protection. Okay. White and red for Shajiri's shelter. Yep. Yep. 
Yeah, I should have. I should have reduced to memory and left out vanishing verse just in case. GG's. Good games.